After the hose has been prepared according to procedure 1100 and the shank has been inserted, place the stem in a vise. For female stems, as shown here, place the spud in the vise. Then thread the wing nut onto the spud. For male stems, place the hex in the vise. Slide the clamp into position. The clamp gripping fingers should be just behind the stem collar. Tighten the bolts by hand until there is an equal amount of thread showing past all six nuts. This step is very important to ensure the clamp tightens properly. If the bolts aren't started evenly, the clamp may not tighten correctly. As you can see here, the same amount of thread is showing past all six nuts. Number the bolts one through six, as is shown here. To assist maintaining proper tightening sequence, place the number on both the bolt head and the bolt end. When all the bolts are numbered, this is what it should look like. Set the torque wrench to the recommended torque value. These torque values can be found in the current Dixon price list. Tighten the nuts in the following sequence. Bolt 1, one full turn or four quarter turns as shown here. Bolt 2, one full turn or four quarter turns. Bolt 3, one full turn or four quarter turns. Bolt 4, one full turn. Snug the bolts by hand if needed as shown here. Bolt 5, one full turn. Bolt 6, one full turn. Moving back to bolt 1, begin the bolt 1 through 6 tightening sequence again. Continue repeating the sequence until all six bolts have been tightened to the recommended torque value. Once all bolts are tightened, compare the installation to the guidelines of procedure 3000, criteria for sufficient fit of a boss clamp. As shown here, check the gripping finger interlock, dovetail extension interlock, and clearance between clamp halves. These torque values are based upon dry bolts. Lubricant on these bolts will adversely affect the clamp's performance. It is important to periodically retighten all bolts on any bolt type clamp due to cold flow, which is present in all rubber hoses. Boss clamps are for a single use only. After removal, discard all clamp components including nuts and bolts. Dixon, the right connection.